guys in this video i am going to show you how to make a good old-fashioned granny square i am going to do the first four rows with you so this blue pink green and string colored i'm going to do that with you and then after that you're going to very well recognize the pattern and you can continue to work on that to make however big of a granny square you need with however many rows all right so let's get to it for the granny square I'm making in this tutorial, I'm using paint box yarns, 100% recycled cotton worsted in four different colors. This one that I'm beginning with is steel blue. I'm also using a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. All right, you're going to begin your granny square with a magic circle. So go ahead and make a loop, just like you're tying a good old fashioned knot. You're just not gonna close up the knot, okay? And then flip the circle over in your hand to where your working yarn is coming up out of the circle and over top take your hook and you're going to hold that granny or you're going to hold that magic circle between your um your ring finger and your thumb okay and then grab your working yarn up here insert your hook front to back through that circle and snatch that yarn and pull it up yarn over and pull it through and that is uh, your slip knot that creates your slip knot onto your hook. So for your first round of your granny square, you're going to begin by chaining three. This counts as your first double crochet. All right, next, you're going to make two double crochet into that circle. And this makes your first three double crochet cluster. Okay, chain two, work three more double crochet into that magic circle. All right, that's your second of four clusters. All right, so again, chain two, we're gonna make three more double crochet into that circle. One, two, three. All right, we're gonna do that once more. So two chains, three more double crochet. And three, okay. Now to end, you're going to make two more chains. And at this point, go ahead and close up the circle. So pull on that yarn tail nice and tight. Gonna close that up, okay? And then we're gonna join by making a slip stitch to that very first double crochet that you made, which was actually that turning the top of a chain. Okay, you're gonna pull that through, slip stitch, okay? And then the way that I do it is I just snip it, I snip enough for it to get weaved in and then just pull it through that slip stitch and tighten it up, okay? It just makes a nice flat space. So now you have your first round of your granny square. So you, these are the corners. These chain two spaces are going to be your corners in between three double crochet clusters. Okay. Now this is the wrong side of your granny square. Okay. So you're going to turn after every round. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my second color here. Okay. So go ahead and pick that back up and you're going to turn your work. You're going to join your new color in any of the corner spaces. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna join in this one where I left off. Insert your hook. Okay, pick up your yarn and just leave enough of a yarn tail to weave in later. Okay, so pick it up, so snatch it. Pull it through. And make a slip stitch there. So right away, we're going to make our first corner. We're gonna do that by beginning with a chain three. 
we're going to do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet all in the same space. And this chain counts as our first double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do two more into this corner space. Okay. One. Two. So that's our first double crochet cluster for our corner. So now I'm going to chain two. I'm going to do three more into that same space. Okay, so that is our first corner. Straight away, we're not gonna chain or anything. Straight away, we're gonna make another corner. Okay, so three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet, all in this next corner here. Okay, that's our second corner. Going again for another corner right away into this next chain two space, three double crochet. Chain two, three more double crochet into that same space. And one final corner right here, going in again with three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet all in that space. Okay, so now to close that round, we are gonna place a slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet we made, which is actually a chain of three. So we're gonna make our slip stitch into the top of that chain. With a slip stitch. Okay. Got the molding yarn trying to get involved here again. Let's go ahead and snip, leaving enough of a tail to weave in. Pull through that slip stitch and tighten that down. Okay, so now you've got round two. And this is the right side. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around, we're gonna join again in any corner space. We're gonna make our way over. We're gonna do a double crochet cluster into each of these gaps. Gonna do a corner, gonna make our way back around. Okay, so go ahead and turn your work and you're going to rejoin in any corner space. So insert your hook, pull up your yarn, let's make a slip stitch. We're going to begin our very first corner here with three double or three chains which makes our first double crochet of that corner. Okay, so going back in with two more double crochet. All right, chain two and three more double crochet. for our first corner. Now what we're gonna do is, as we make our way over to the other corner here, we're gonna place a three double crochet cluster right into this gap in between these, these two clusters from the previous row. We're not gonna chain or anything in between, we're gonna go straight in with three double crochet right into that gap. One, two, three. So now we are over here at our next corner, right? So straight in with three double crochet, chain two, and three more double crochet into that same space. Okay, 
So again, before we make it over to our next corner, we're gonna do a three double crochet cluster into this space right here. One, two, three. Now we've got a, a corner coming up here. So we're gonna go three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet all in this next space. So that is our third corner. So making our way over to the next corner here, we're gonna place a three double crochet cluster right in this gap. One, two, three. Now we're at our final corner. So we're gonna go three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet all in this corner. So for our final little cluster here, we've got one more space. We're gonna do three double crochets into this gap. And then we will close up our third round here. All right, so to join the round, we are going to place a slip stitch in the top of this original chain three of our row. So this one right here. Gonna slip stitch right into this one. Slip stitch, snip, and pull through. Okay, so that is the end of round three. So gonna tighten up that slip stitch there. Okay, so that is the wrong side, and this is the right side. I'm gonna do one more round with you, and then I think you are gonna be off and running. Okay, so go ahead and turn your work. So you're now on the right side. So for the fourth row, you're on the right side. I'm going to join in any corner space. And begin by chaining three. One, two, three. Again, that serves as our first double crochet of that round, or I'm sorry, of this um, three double crochet cluster for the corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and make two more double crochet into that same space. One, two. Okay, and then I'm making a corner, so I'm gonna chain two and do three more double crochet in that same space. One, two, three. Okay, so that's our first corner. All right, so now as I go across to the next corner, I'm simply gonna place three double crochets into all of the gaps across. At this point, there's only two of them, but with each additional round, you're gonna have more gaps that you're gonna be placing three double crochet clusters into, okay? So that's just the repeat method. You're just gonna place three double crochets into each gap until you get to the other corner and then you'll make a corner. All right, so straight in with three double crochets into this, into this gap in between the double crochet clusters from the previous row. Okay, another one right here, three double crochets. Great, okay, so now we're at a corner. So three double crochets chain two, three double crochet. For corner two, all right. Three double crochets into each of these gaps in between corners. Okay, we've made it across to our next corner. So we're gonna do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet into that same space.
All right, so that's three corners down, one more to go. So making our way across to the other corner, we are simply going to place three double crochet clusters into both of these gaps, or if you're on a different row, however many gaps you have all the way across to the next corner. Okay, so we've made it to our final corner, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all in this corner. All right, there's our final corner. Now all we've got to accomplish here is two more clusters and then we will join the round. Okay, so we've made it back to our very first corner. So I'm going to join the round by slip stitching to the top of that first double crochet. Slip stitch, snip, and pull through. Tighten that down. All right, and there you have round four of your granny square. So again, as you continue on, you're going to turn your work for your next row. You're gonna join at any corner space, work your double cro or your, your double crochet clusters. So you'll have three double crochet in this, 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 make a corner all the way around, and then you're gonna join your round with a slip stitch. And that is the repeat method for every round of your granny square. And eventually, once you get all your yarn ends weaved in this is what it'll look like a nice clean beautiful granny square in whatever size you need it that same method can be used on and on and on for as many rows as you want i'm going to show you how to make a half of a granny square so let's give you a full granny square for comparison so this is what your full granny square would look like this is what the half would look like i am going to show you how to do it i'm going to cover um four rows so we'll start with here with the blue pink and then this green and then we'll end with the string and then after that you are going to be well on your way you'll be able to recognize the kind of the repeat pattern and you'll be well on your way to do however many rows that you need so let's go ahead and get started i am using paint box yarns this is their 100 percent recycled cotton worsted and i am going to be using a size four and a half millimeter hook all right, we're gonna begin by making a magic circle. So go ahead and make a loop, just as if you were going to tie a regular knot, and then flip it over in your hand so that that working yarn is coming out and up and over the loop. Okay, you're gonna insert your hook from front to back, and you're gonna snatch that yarn and pull it up, yarn over and pull through. And this is your slip knot onto your onto your hook. All right, so now we're going to start by chaining four. One, two, three, four. All right, now that chain counts as your first double crochet and your first turning chain. Okay, so then straight into your magic circle, you're going to make three double crochets. One, two, three, all right, then you're going to chain two. You're going to make three more double crochets into the circle. One, two, three, all right, gonna make one chain and now one final double crochet into the circle. Okay, and now that is the center of your half granny square. Go ahead and pull on that tail and tighten the magic circle at this point, okay? 
Fasten off however you would like. I don't actually fasten off. I simply just leave my last stitch and then I snip, snip enough of a yarn tail to weave in later. And then I just pull this through. This for me um, makes less of a bump right here along the edge as you're coming along um, and working, you know, kind of um, weaving in all of your ends. That's just how I prefer to change colors in a, in a granny square. So if some people like to fasten off all the way, snip, and then add a new color, this is how I do it. And I come back and I deal with it later. All right, so now this is gonna be the wrong side. So that, that side that we were just working is gonna be the back. You're gonna flip over like this and our second row, we're going to work this direction, okay? So this has become the side right here. And now we're gonna start working in this direction, okay? So bring in your second color. My next color is the peachy color. All right, and I am gonna show you how I add my second color in my granny square. Insert your hook through the top of that last double crochet that you made. Okay, and pull in your new color, leaving enough yarn tail to weave in later. So snatch your yarn and pull it through that stitch and pull up. And then what I do is I actually bring in a yarn over with both strands and pull through, okay? And then what I do is I take my hook out and I find that yarn tail that I'm gonna weave in and I pull that all the way through. Okay, and that is how I bring in my new yarn, okay? And then put your yarn back on your hook and pull tightly. Okay, that doesn't count as a chain or anything. That's just adding your new yarn. And that, that method, what that does is it just kind of adds a nice clean, again, there's no bump from slip knot or rejoining um, with a slip stitch or any of it. That's just a nice, a nice smooth transition there, okay? So now what we're gonna do for the first stitch of this row is we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And again, this counts as your first double crochet of the round plus one turning chain. All right, so now what you'll notice is this first gap right here where that first chain or that last chain was that you made. You made a chain and then a double crochet to end this first round. Okay, so right where that chain is, we're gonna make our first three double crochet cluster. All right, so we're working again in this direction. This is the right side facing now. Okay, so we're gonna do three double crochets into that chain one space. One, two, three. Okay, now if it's helpful, at this point, I like to mark the top of my turning chain, this one right here, where I'm going to actually be placing my last stitch when I come back around, because it can be hard to figure that out sometimes when turning chains count as stitches. It can be confusing to where that, that top of it is. And so when I'm counting backwards, I just made these three double crochets here. Okay, so I have three double crochets. one, two, three, and then I have my one turning chain, and then I have this part of the chain, this stitch of that chain, which was the third chain that I made, is gonna be where I'm gonna make my stitch when I'm coming back around. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that because it's just easier for me. I'm a big fan of stitch marking things that are hard to find. <laughs> All right, so there's our first cluster of this round. We're not gonna make any chains or anything in between our clusters. We're gonna go straight into this, which is our corner, and we're gonna make three double crochets into this um, two chain gap here. One, two, three. Okay, now we're gonna make our corner. So we're gonna chain two, and we're gonna do three double crochets into that exact same place. One, two, and three. Okay, so that is our corner. 
you just made that. Look at it from this direction. Okay, and now you're gonna locate this um, chain one space that you made, your very first chain one space that you made, and you're gonna place three double crochets in there as well. And at this point, before I do that, which I should have done to begin, I am going to locate that chain that I made that is gonna become my final stitch, where I place my final stitch as well, okay? Just like I did on this side. And mark that with a stitch marker. All right, so I'm gonna come back here and pick back up where I left off. All right, so now I'm gonna place three double crochets straight into this chain space right here, this gap. One, two, three, okay, chain one. And then you're gonna make a double crochet into that, into the top of that turning chain, right where I placed that stitch marker. So I'm gonna take that stitch marker out. I'm gonna place my final double crochet into that top of that turning chain. All right, and then just like before, I'm going to snip enough to weave in and pull that through. Okay, so that is round two. You've got, now you can really start to see the little corner here going on. All right, so I'm going to turn my work. All right, I'm gonna bring in my third color. This one I'm using sea green. Okay, I'm gonna show you again how I join. So that final double crochet that you just made, go ahead and insert your hook into that stitch. Bringing in my new color, I yarn over and just pull it right through. Okay. Then bring it up and I yarn over with both strands and pull both of those through. Okay, then I locate which one is this yarn tail and I pull that one all the way through. This one. Okay, I'm put my hook back in, tighten it down. That's how I make my color changes. Okay, and then I'm also gonna tighten down on the pink. Now I've got my new color attached, okay? So again, to begin my row, I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. That serves as my first double crochet and my first chain space, right? Then right into this chain space here from the row before, I'm gonna place three double crochets. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my stitch marker in. This next one is the top of my turning chain. Right, so carrying on with my next double crochet cluster, I'm going to skip, again, we're not chaining in between the clusters, we're gonna go straight into this next chain space right here with three double crochets. One, two, three, okay. And again, right into our corner here with three double crochets. One, two, three. And then we're making our corner, so we're gonna chain two and three more double crochets into that same chain space. One, two, three. Okay, so there we've got our corner. Straight into this next chain space. I'm sorry, not chain space, this next gap in between our double crochet clusters. We're gonna go three double crochets. One, two, three. And right into our final chain space here, we'll go three double crochets.
one, two, three. Okay, and now we're gonna do chain one and do one double crochet into the top of that turning chain right where I had marked that turning chain, top of the turning chain stitch. So take your marker out and place one double crochet into that turning chain. All right, so that is row three. Let's go ahead and snip and pull through. Okay, I'm gonna do one more with you. You can really see it coming together now. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my final color. This is the color string in the paint box yarns recycled cotton. Okay, so go ahead and turn your work. Okay, so we're working again back up to the corner and across to the other side. All right, place your hook through that first double crochet of the row. Bring in your new color. If you prefer joining colors a different way, then that is totally fine. This is just how I join it. Okay, pulling through that yarn tail. Tighten up that last double crochet from the previous row. Okay. So we've joined. I'm gonna just do this final row with you and then I think you'll kind of get the gist of it. You can come back and and um, refer back to this as needed, okay? So you're gonna begin your row with a chain of four. One, two, three, four. If you wanna place your stitch marker at this point too, you can do that. I'll go ahead and show you how I do that. So the chain of four was um, is our first double crochet and our first chain space. The first double crochet is the three chains and then that final chain is the chain space, okay? So the top of the turning chain where we're gonna place our final stitch is gonna be in that third chain. So I'm gonna mark that third chain. Okay, so you could do it that way. All right, so right away into that very first chain space from the row below, we're gonna do three double crochet. One, two, three, all right? Identifying that next gap in between those double crochet clusters, three double crochet. One, two, three, okay? All the way over to the, to the corner, okay? So again, in this one, three double crochet. So as your rows build on each other, you're always gonna have one more of these um, cluster spaces as your, as your rows get longer. So you're gonna keep working in the same fashion all the way to the corner every time. And then in the corner, you do your three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And that's what's making each of these corners build on each other, okay? So here we're at a corner, so three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and then three more double crochets into that same space. One, two, three for our corner. All right, double crochet clusters in each of these gaps along this side. So three double crochets into this next gap. One, two, three, three in this next gap, one, two, three, okay, and we've got our final chain space here. We're going to do three double crochets into that space. Whoop. 
All right, so then to end our row, we're going to chain one and we're gonna place our final double crochet into this turning chain. Okay, so that ends our fourth row. So snip, pull through. All right, so go ahead and just repeat that same method. Your, the beginning of your row, the end of your row, they're gonna be the same. You're gonna work through each of these gaps between your double crochet clusters all the way to your corner. You'll make your corner. You'll work each of the gaps all the way to the end. Don't forget that final gap here. And then you always end with that chain and then that double crochet at the end. All right, and then when you, you reach your desired size of your half granny square, you'll just come back, tighten up these corners, and then just tie them off and weave them in on the back. And you will end up with a nice clean half granny square. Don't forget to join our website offthebeatenhook.com for lots of free patterns, video tutorials, and tons of downloadable essential crochet resources. Happy hooking!